Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Yep, I just saw my DJI's Phantom Standard, the DJI Phantom 3 Standard. It was cruciating. It was a really hard decision for me to decide whether I should sell it or keep it. I had a video um, probably about almost a month ago regarding to you know to keep my DJI Phantom 3 standard and it was a good decision the only thing is for me to change would be when if DJI come up with some kind of drone that is like you know two or three steps ahead of the game right so I'm thinking uh, should I upgrade to DJI Phantom 3 Pro well, hmm, maybe. I already have that already. Uh, should I upgrade to DJI Phantom 3 Advanced? If it's cheap, yes, I would do that. You know, say half the price. But, you know, DJI Phantom 3 Standard is actually quite good for uh, cinematic filming, like when you're starting out. And I said that before. But what would change the game? Like for example, uh, DJI Phantom 4, you know, has 4K. But the thing is, you know, you look at DJI Phantom 3 series and DJI Phantom 4 and even the Mavic uh, Pro, they all have a very small uh, sensor size, a camera size. It's 1 and 2.3 inch sensor. So, you know, you'll get a good quality uh, filming in a good light like say in a you know morning sky or afternoon sky or just before you know the the sunset you get a pretty good shot but then when it gets dark it's not going to be as good if you the sensor is too small so the sensor that they provide with the phantom 3 series and the 4 and even the mavic is a equality equal to I would say uh, your smartphone, you know, a decent smartphone. So I'm thinking, hmm, I already have standard, DJI standard, and I have also the uh, advanced, and should I, you know, upgrade to like Phantom 4? Uh, and I decided, no, I'm not going to do that. However, when DJI came up with the DJI Phantom 4 Pro, I look at the spec and I'm like, that is enticing. That is actually what I would want because see, I have invested in a Sony camera already. I have a Sony a7S II. I have Sony a6300. Uh, they have, um, you know, the Sony a7S II is a full frame camera with, you know, 4K feature, a slow mo, uh, was it 120 frames per second? And same thing with the Sony a 6300 also have that feature and even have uh, S-Log, you know, two and three beautiful cameras for, uh, you know, doing short films and all that. And I'm like, okay, a drone with a higher sensor, like say one inch or more, would have been nice. So when DJI came up with this uh, DJI Phantom 4 Pro, I'm like, Wow, that would be the drone I would upgrade to from a standard or advanced uh, Phantom 3 to that, right? So uh, upgrading to Phantom 4 would not be that much of an upgrade if you do a, uh, you're, if you are a cin cinematic photographer or a cinematic videographer, right? It wouldn't really change the game. So I'm thinking unless they have a better camera, then I would do that. And so they did. DJI came up with this. And so I did sew my DJI Phantom uh, 3 standard and replace it with, yes, DJI Phantom 4 Pro. Now I bought it aftermarket, so it was a little bit cheaper. Um, had a great deal. So next time I'm gonna show you how it works and you know the quality and all that. But I never regret now that I bought it because now I went from a one and 2.3 uh, inch sensor to now a full inch sensor from a 2.7K to now a 4K 60 frame per second. And then it has all these tap features, tap fly and follow me and all this stuff. It's like, 
incredible and the battery lasts a little bit longer um, it has all these sensors so that it won't crash not so important to me especially when you are doing manually right when you're doing cinematic uh, filming it's better to do manually anyway but because the camera has this manual uh, features where you can control the aperture you control the shutter speed and and so on uh, it gives the um, the director or the one who's doing the camera ability to do a little bit more right and especially when it's a one inch sensor versus one over uh, 2.3 inch sensor you can capture more light and you can film more at night it is the sensor for the uh, DJI Phantom 4 Pro is very similar to I believe it may be even the same sensor used in the Sony RX100 uh, camera so if you're looking at that well I have the Sony series of camera it would make sense for me to uh, invest in a drone that actually also have Sony sensor as well and for example the color grading when if I decided to do color grading you know, since this is already a Sony um, RX100 like camera sensor, uh, and then you have the um, you know the Sony A7S2 and the Sony A6300, when I'm doing you know color grading for all three camera, I would have no problem. If I had a, a you know a, a, a Canon or even a Nikon, you know there might be a problem because I think these sensors and, and the and the, the the chip that they put in there. The color grading might be slightly off. You have to play around with it. Well, well, if you have the same, um, you know, workflow, say from Sony cameras, I'm pretty sure that when you use their cameras right through from the RX100 all the way through um, their A7 series, you shouldn't have any problem with the color grading because they should match. Unless I mean, I'm getting something wrong, you can write a comment on that. But in the future when I do some of these filming I'll show you the comparison with this uh, Phantom 4 Pro um, uh, the color grading to say a Sony a7s 2 or the a6300 and you can see that it will shouldn't take me any effort to just do a color grading it should be quite uh, fluid right so I'm very proud of uh, purchasing this sold off my standard and now I have the Phantom 4 Pro so hopefully in a near future, like I said, I'm, I'm moving towards doing filmings and short films and all that. Uh, so it'll be exciting time for me and hopefully for you as a viewer to see what I'm doing. So yeah, so there we go. So next time I'm going to show you the feature of Phantom 4 Pro. I also have a Phantom uh, 3 Advance as well. And we can compare, you know, the camera qualities right I sold my the standard I'm not uh, sad about that now uh, because now I have this pro it's a big change a big jump right you have from a 1.1 1. Uh, 1 over 3 a 2.3 inch sensor to now a 1 inch sensor you do you can do so much more for uh, filming like I mean the quality will be much much better especially I'm not into 4k Right, this thing can definitely do 4K 60 uh, frame per second, but I'm more um, uh, 1080p, and this thing can do 1080p 120 frame per second, just like my Sony A7S II and A6300. So you can see the the flow of uh, work from these three camera. It will, it will definitely match because they're Sony sensors and they uh, have all the same features as you know slow mo 20, 120 frames per second at full frame. 1080p so I'm excited I hope you'll be excited too so you'll uh, see a lot more of my uh, short films or the technique I'm gonna be using this is new for me as well so hopefully you you know join with me as I uh, learn from my mistakes and and from my discovery together with all my camera gears and the Phantom 4 Pro thanks for watching educatetube.com oh by the way, I forgot, um, I'm creating a channel, um, just blogging, talking, uh, v-blogging, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it'll be called Sipski, that would be my name, uh, on a separate channel. You can check on the, uh, I guess this would be the right side. 
Uh, there's a link there. It's called Skip Sipsky. It's a specifically not dealing with just technologies, but just uh, talking in general about life and my my take on it. Okay, so it'll be everything that normally I just uh, come out of my brain and you know just spill it all out to you guys. And uh, something is just very deep, and something is just maybe a comment about a movie I just watched recently. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and uh, subscribe to Sipsky channel in the near future I will also do that as well uh, probably weekly maybe bi-weekly I'm not I'm not bi-week bi-monthly and we'll see how it goes but um, I think there was someone who requested that I, I do a lot more talking uh, you know just just be blogging and um, talk about what's happening in my life and generally what's going on with the world and how I feel about it and my my point of view and maybe it's interesting to you if you don't want to watch it that's fine just stick with this channel educate tube dot com or oh, educate to uh, YouTube channel and uh, we'll just talk about inventions gears and uh, neat neat stuff all right and demonstration and how to and all that stuff and even science and math right thanks for watching educate to dot com